Welcome to the mother channel, you piece of shit. What's going on everybody? My name is the Francois and today I'm going to show you how to create a sensor beep sound effect using touch portal so that you can censor yourself during your Twitch live stream. By creating a sensor beep sound effect, you're able to create some funny moments during your live stream, but not only that, you're going to up the overall professional appearance of your stream. The download for the sensor beep sound effect is free. The link to that's in the description below along with a link to my Twitter, my Discord, and Gilded servers. If you guys have any questions after watching this video and you need further assistance, feel free to reach out to me on any of those platforms. With that being said, we're gonna jump right into this tutorial, so let's get at it. All right, in order to get started with this setup, we first need to put that sound file within OBS in our sources on any of the scenes that we want that source active. On. So what we're going to do is create a new source. We're going to create a media source and we're going to create the sensor beep sound. And what we're going to do is upload that sensor beep sound and uh, hit OK on that. We want to make sure we loop that audio. Uh, and if you want to, you can use hardware decoding uh, when available to help, you know, reduce that CPU usage. I'm not really sure if it impacts that or not because it's an audio file. It doesn't matter. Anyways, moving forward. You also want to make sure that you have restart playback when source becomes active. That's important in order to make sure that button goes off when you press that button. So go ahead and hit OK. And then, you know, organize that in your OBS sources wherever you see fit. So after we have done that we're going to go over to touch portal and we're going to begin to set up the button in touch portal all right now that we're on touch portal what i'm going to do is just i'm going to create a new page here like i have done uh just to avoid any clutter or any confusion there um and we're going to set up that button on this page all right so the first thing i'm going to do is go into this button here uh, I'm going to go ahead and change that button text over to sensor just to make it easy uh, for this video. And then we're going to go to the on event tab. Once we're on the on event tab, we're going to go to the OBS uh, section here and we're going to find the event statement for on source visibility change. What we're going to do is when the OBS source of the sensor beep sound becomes visible we're going to mute the source volume we're going to change this over to mute of our microphone source so scroll down find that microphone source then we're going to copy and paste both of these fields and then what we're going to do is when that um, sensor beep sound is hidden what we're going to do is unmute that microphone source now we're going to go to the on hold tab on the on hold tab. We want to create an action for source visibility. What we're going to do is set the source visibility of our sensor beep sound. So whenever we hold down on this button, it's going to play that sensor beep sound. After we let go, it's going to hide that sensor beep sound and it's going to unmute our microphone. So that is literally all it takes to set up this button. We're going to go ahead and save that button and then we're going to make sure it's working properly. So we're going to go back to OBS. All right. So now all I'm going to do is test to make sure it's running properly. I'm going to hold down. When I hold down on the button, it mutes my microphone, as you can see in the audio mixer below. And then uh, when I let go of the button, it unmutes my microphone so we can and it's working exactly how we want it to work. All right, guys, I want to thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you like and subscribe to this channel for more content like this. We're giving stuff away all the time in this channel. We do all kinds of tech and audio and video type of content. So if you like that sort of stuff, make sure you hit that subscribe button. With that being said, I want to say goodbye, you mother I hate you. You are all dumb no, but really, though, thank you for watching, and I'll catch you next time. Peace out.